Correct. And how there's there's a benefit and a negative, and you just need to be aware of it and how the scenario can play out where being that co-signer for somebody can help them purchase, and then a year later you can take them off. So there's there's scenarios that work. Yes, um, yes. I I think more of what I mean about the co-signing part is 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 co-signing more for you know, like a credit card, maybe even a car note uh, for consumers that have that credit. And I think it's fair to say, like, you should be able to ask a couple of questions if someone asks you to co-sign. I think you have, I think I think you, I think you have you to be a lender. I mean, you're kind of a lender at, at some point, right? So you kind of have to, you know, application, you know, sign here and let me, <laughs> you know, let me have somebody run your credit and see why, you know, why you didn't qualify yourself. Sure, that's not right. going to apply with a family member, though. No, I wouldn't, no. They just stop talking maybe to you. Maybe a hug and a thank you, maybe. Uh, Veronica, I wanted to kind of pick your brain. You guys are doing something great with regard to Homes for Heroes. So I wanted to give you an opportunity to, to talk about that. Um, what's the program all about and kind of what pushed you to, to want to get involved in it? Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity of sharing this amazing program. I'm brand new to it, but I'm very, very excited about it. Um, it's a nonprofit organization that is designed to help our heroes in our community. And who are the heroes? You know, people that with because of their jobs, they're helping us live a better place. For example, this incentivizes um, law enforcement, veterans, teachers, everybody involved with the school district, uh, doctors, nurses, uh, social workers, etc. Anybody that feels their job helps the community back, they can come to us and say, hey, can I qualify for the Homes for Heroes program? And what that is, is it's, uh, it's up to the realtor to get involved in this nonprofit organization. Me and my team decided to do that very happily because we want to give back. We want to give back to the community as well. The realtor that decides to participate on the program donates out of their own commission check up to 25% of the earnings for that homeowner to buy a home. That could be used for their closing costs, uh, furniture, anything they need to do to the house as well uh, for sellers. So if the seller needs to sell and they want to profit as much as possible, obviously we help them with up to 25% discount on the sale. So we're happy, we're excited because we want to make sure that if we can give back to them because they're giving back to us, why not? It's just extra sales we could provide and extra help we can give back. A win-win for everybody. Yeah, win-win for everybody. Um, and then when you mentioned who can participate, is it you then have to fill out an application and, and see if, if, if you actually, is it a specific scenario is what qualifies? or Well, no, it's, it's really up to the realtor to decide who Got the it. hero is. Got it. There's not really a guideline. But they're, you know, the main, the main job descriptions are the ones that I, I give up. But if you feel that you do something for the community and I want to look up at that job title, of course, I'll be happy to tell you if I can give you the discount or not. Perfect. Uh, there's a, I'm working on a website right now to put all this information in one place for the consumer to go there and fill out the application on its own. But for now, they can contact me directly, any of our team members as well on our Facebook page, our, our own website, Tap Home Advisors Group, our cell phones. We're, we're getting started, but we're really excited to really take this program to another level and make everybody out there aware of it. Perfect. And then you mentioned um, one scenario where you said up to 25%. So well, the, do you guys get to kind of set what you're going to do case by case, or is it just across the board? It's actually 30% across the border. The 5% that I'm not mentioning right now, because it's for a March check, is 25%, but to the consumer. Okay. But the other, it's actually a total of 30 The other 5%, from our check goes to the nonprofit organization, the actual nonprofit. And what they do is that they save them money and they provide housing opportunity to the veterans or people that come from the war. You know, a lot of people that come out from there and they need resources to live or, or to actually rent or why not. That extra 5% from our check is a total of 30 goes to that nonprofit and the 25% goes directly to the consumer. So it's a total of 30% actually from our from our checks. And that's a big piece. That is a big piece. Wow. Because yes. the government gets their own piece and you're not. Correct. Really, yeah. And I'm left with uh, something good. That's but all right. it's all about volume and providing something back. Like I said, not everybody has this job description, but the people that do want to reward them back some way, somehow. So that's why we decided to join the organization. Okay, perfect. Because I was just going to ask you, for someone that already pushes themselves, you seem to work very hard. Like you mentioned, work hard, play hard. You, you seem to do everything hard um, and work hard. Now, I'm not saying hard, like make it difficult. Right. Um, <laughs> but with that with that being said, you know, what's the motivation behind getting behind another program? It's obviously more work. It's, you know, less money in certain situations. So kind of go into it more of how, you know, how this program came about altogether. Well, to be honest with you, it was brought to me by another great, amazing realtor, somebody that I really admire and, and know. It's a friend of mine, Sofia Chacon. She's a realtor in the Corona area. 
She's a Keller Williams realtor and she came across this program in one of the Keller Williams events out of state. I think there's this other realtor out of state that is doing 200 to 250 transactions just on Homes for Heroes. Wow. So as you can see, uh, even though we're cutting our paycheck literally, it, it brings a lot of va value and volume, value and volume to the realtor that gives that out. So, And like in all of our businesses, the more people that are aware and spreading how we do business, that, you know, absolutely. Yes. I mean, there's it's going to be a win-win. And it's our, our service is still top-notch. I mean, our service is still the same. Um, you guys know me. Rolando knows me. We've been partners for a while. It's all about giving the client what's best out there. And if I have an opportunity to provide extra with this program to some people, why not? We have all kinds of clients, different prof pro professions. It's just one extra part that we want to be part of in our team. Perfect. And I think that's what I was getting at is that you don't need this to, to be what you are. You do perfectly <laughs> fine by yourself and you work hard. So adding this is just another, you know, another, another thing in the arsenal that you want to reach out to more people. Correct. Yes. Just one more tool. Um, and then um, there's other partners that can get involved too. Uh, I was reading about that in terms of people that get involved in the transaction and also. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. And I'm actually meeting uh, soon with all of my uh, business partners. Like uh, we mentioned earlier in our transaction, there's so many people involved. We have title representation, you know, we have escrow companies, lenders, uh, we have insurance companies. They all, if they can participate on the Homes for Heroes if they wish to, they're able to do that as well with us in the transaction. So we can provide extra discounts to these heroes. So. And they can set their own, whatever they want to give back themselves? Correct. Or, okay. Correct. Yeah, it's totally flexible on their end. And I'm just, you know, calling everybody out that is interested or know someone that can benefit from the program, definitely let us know. Okay, I'll get to something in terms of programs. There seems to always be red tape and issues where I know a lot of lending programs, they'll get everybody all excited and then it won't actually happen. Mm -hmm. um, you know, in terms of a lot of paperwork or a lot of things that need to be done in order to get this done, kind of walk us through. There's no paperwork required at all. All you got to show is pretty much that you're an active, uh, you know, worker of that field. Let's say you're a teacher, you have your credentials someplace, you're working. You're a doctor, if you're a firefighter, that's all you have to prove that in fact you are doing that profession. There's no red tapes, no fine print. And uh, we just uh, agree that you're a Home for Heroes app, uh, client and, and towards the close of escrow you get your rewards back. Very easy. Perfect. And then I know with uh, credits for, for close of escrow for, for us as lenders, um, you know, most of them have to be on the closing statement and they have to be part of the closing cost you Correct. mentioned. Um, you mentioned furniture and some other stuff. Is that just something that you guys can work out after the fact? If, if, if we, let's just say Oscar and I take care of all the closing costs anyway. Right. And you have a well, that will definitely be stated on the HUD uh, sure. as, a, as a part of the, of the realtor check towards the client. Now, if they want to use it for closing costs, that will be applied to that. Okay. Let's say that client has already the closing costs paid by you guys' rebate or the seller then that check can be cut directly to the client to be used in his liking after the close of escrow. Awesome. Great. Yeah. I think that's great because I think that it balances it where, you know, oftentimes we have enough of a credit, especially on your FHA deals, where mm -hmm. we can cover all your closing costs. Correct. So it gives somebody yeah. an opportunity to still capitalize on that after. Yeah, they can save that money for furniture, for emergencies, for rainy days, whatever they like. It's just an extra incentive. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Is there a price range that people need to stay under or it's just No price ranges. No, it's all open. So that's why we're excited because we can target pretty much anybody. Okay. With this and, then, and then if somebody had some questions with regard to this and wanted some more research, where would they go to find about this program? Well, pretty soon I'm going to have my own site especially, specifically done for Homes for Heroes. Uh, but for now, they can definitely go to my main general website, Tap Home Advisors Group, or they can go to my business page, Tap Home Advisors Group on Facebook, or they contact me directly at 951-870-9752. Perfect. How long have you been at this program, the Home for Heroes? Barely two months. So I'm launching everything. Actually, I'm going to have a ribbon cutting in the city of Fontana, where is where I currently live, to announce it to the whole city. And uh, we're about to open a new location in Pasadena. And once we have the location set up, we're going to also do a ribbon cutting to announce Home for Heroes in Pasadena area. So oh. I'm very excited about that. You're definitely gaining traction. Con yeah. Congratulations. You know, we're, we're all a team here. So absolutely anything that uh, can help you grow is, is beneficial to us. So we appreciate that. Um, Thank you. We want to give you an opportunity to here give out your guys' contact information again before we go out to break. So I'll start with Rolando. Rolando, go ahead and give out your contact information. Sure, the office, sure, the office number is 562-776-1451. Then Veronica, if there's realtors here around that want to join your team, how, how would they do so? 
they can call you. They can call me directly if they want to join Homes for Heroes program. Just Google that. The main website nonprofit will pop up and they'll be able to enroll as well and do this same service I'm doing anywhere else. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. I uh, appreciate that. We're going to go to break. When we get back, we'll be wrapping up the show with Veronica and Rolando. Stay tuned. You are listening to The Court Hour Live on ESPN 17.